Good evening, I'm Stephen Collins, your man about modernism. And this evening, we're here at my home in South Palm Springs, in the very elegant neighborhood of Indian Canyons. Come inside and have a look with me. Man About Modernism is a web series celebrating mid-century modern design, architecture, and culture in Palm Springs, California. So here we are in the uh, living room, or great room, as seems to be often the name used here in Palm Springs. The house was built in 1970 by the Fay Building Company. Mr. Fay came here from Chicago and developed an enormous amount of uh, this part of South Palm Springs, Indian Canyons. I wanted to create an interior where all the elements were modernists, and I wanted a place that really felt sexy. I wanted people to be able to feel it was intimate, and in here it's an ochre, it's like a dark tobacco brown. As the night drops, the palm trees get lit up, the pool light goes on, all this soft low lighting goes on, and what you feel is, is an atmosphere, and it's convivial and throughout the house there is a theme of intimacy and evening. I'm an evening person, I love the evenings. It's the time when you entertain outdoors in the day, in here, by night. The dining room area of this room is really comprised of three elements. A set of eight dining chairs that I bought from uh, the same old French colonial hotel in Marrakesh that was pulled down in my last year in Morocco. The light above it, uh, they came from the interior of, of an old office building from the 1950s in Paris. It's opaline or pas de verre, which means that the glass is white the whole way through. It's not just white coated. And the table I bought actually from Maryland here in the United States. It's um, a 1960s piece from Milan. And that really makes it up. That's about it. This is uh, obviously my kitchen. I wanted something again that spoke a little bit of the 70s, um, so I wanted to use a high gloss acrylic. I chose to use white, which comes as a surprise to some people, bearing in mind how much color I've used here. I like the cleanliness. There's a bit of me that must be Teutonic or German in the background. And then around it, you know, old dental equipment and medical equipment, a dentist cabinet from France on the left, and on the right here, um, a medical cabinet um, made in England probably in the 1960s. Again, you know, completely reimagined for the way we live today. And I think they add a bit of color, a bit of character, a bit of history. Because again, I like rooms to be rooms. You know, I don't like everything to just sort of be dissected. So I like the idea of living space bleeding into here. And there's a little old French cafe table from Morocco in, in a sort of chartreuse lime green with a pair of modernist English chairs. And there you go, that's my kitchen. So this is my bedroom. Again, a big theme of grass cloth. I like the idea of houses being wrapped. Here I wanted to build up layers to the architecture, and I wanted colors that, that changed with the time of day, which paint does too, but there's a shimmer to grass cloth. It's a natural material. And the room is littered with pictures. The headboard is in a wonderful fabric I bought from a Senegalese woman in uh, the southwest of France, where I used to have uh, a couple of homes. And I love African form in general, tribal art of any description. And this is a sort of 20th century, uh, amusing, fun, sort of slightly 1950s feel to it. Everything reminds me of something. Everything is a story of somewhere I've been. And to me, that's the most important thing. It's not about whether somebody likes my home. Um, it's what I like. It's a painting. It's a canvas. I keep on adding and taking a knife and scraping bits away and, and re-adding. And it's an expression of who I am. And I think that's really the best kind of interior there really is. So now we're outside. A fabulous view of the San Jacinto Mountains. These, I, I think, are intriguing. They're by Zanotta from Milan. Um, they're the most incredibly heavy-duty floats and incredibly hard to get hold of. They're probably about 10 or 12 years old. Um, over here, there are a pair of very beautiful uh, sun loungers by Paola Lenti. Her wave chair, which is uh, perhaps one of the most extravagant forms of outdoor seating you can find. And then over here, two of a set of four diamond chairs by Batoya that I found when I was living in Morocco. Uh, they were sort of rusted and chipped and I had them uh, sandblasted and powder coated and they live on here in another desert in Palm Springs. The lanai here is very, very, very simple. It's a great room to be in to just, you know, the evenings in the summer when it cools down at night, uh, in the winter, in the afternoons, if you want to avoid the sun. Et voila. So this is the powder room. 
nothing particularly unusual. It has a basin and a WC in it. But what I did want, I carried on using the Philip Jeffries glass, grass cloth here, the vanilla hemp. And in this color is tangerine. I mean, obviously it's not a color that you can necessarily live with in a room that you use all the time every day. Um, and I love the combination of green and orange. I put in this old, beautifully patinated copper mirror that I bought in France from the 1950s. This urn was rusted and chipped to death and used to be used as an ashtray of sorts when I lived in Marrakesh, if you get my drift. Um, and I had that sort of sandblasted and repainted. And I think on that note, I'm gonna take an early night back to my bedroom. Night. Remember to subscribe to Modernism Week.